Hi, uh, we are here with Stefan Daniel, and we are talking um, about the M10 this evening, uh, which is what we just announced uh, at the keynote. And uh, Stefan knows a thing or two about the M10, so we just wanted to find out a little more uh, the background on it and, and, and why the M10 and uh, what we're hoping to, uh, to see through the lens. You know, we have more than 60 years of rangefinder experience. The M3 was launched in 1954. We have almost 11 years of digital rangefinder experience and we collected all that know-how, all that feedback from customers um, and try to integrate that into the new body. So we, we try to find the perfect balance between heritage and um, technical innovation. Yeah. Uh, some of that feedback, I know as an M user myself, some of that feedback, uh, what, 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 was the main, what were the main things that you were keeping in mind as far as with, with the M10 with that feedback you were getting from uh, rangefinders? Um, quite surprisingly, uh, many people ask us for a thinner body. Mm -hmm. A thinner body. It might not uh, be a big thing for people who are used to other cameras, yeah. but for M users, the original thickness of uh, the analog M is one of the key factors, and that's what we achieved with the M10. Yeah. Well, I mean, as, as a Leica photographer myself, I see, I, I carry it everywhere. And you see that weight as well as what bag you're going to throw it in, um, or, or just even where it's at, even on the table mm -hmm. at dinner. Um, those kind of things that definitely start to play into spending the day with it. And so what, what did you do as far as the re reduction of the weight? How did you make that happen, and, and how, much, how much lighter or smaller is it, thinner? Our engineers really put a lot of effort into shrinking the electronics. Um, so we reduced two layers of the electronics into one. Mm -hmm. So that made the main part of the th slimmer body. Uh, but not only that, a lot of detail work went into refining the whole concept. And then um, you talked about you, you're, you're able to, to manually control it a little better than... Uh, yeah, th that's one, one other thing. Um, the style of M photography was that you have your camera maybe around your neck or it's sitting in front of you at a table and you're able to see every single control element which you need for photography. Aperture, focusing, shutter speed and ISO dial. Uh, so we added an ISO dial on, on that new camera, so you can see, you can control the camera even if it's switched off or even if you don't touch it. And that's one other thing our customers were asking for. So it's perfect for that street shooting moment, you can, you're can you ready to go, and power on. And you're super fast then. And you're super fast. Um, and then as far as the rangefinder itself, uh, anything new in there as far as the viewfinder? So we enhanced, uh, so to say, everything which is the core of M. So also the rangefinder, where we improved it a lot, we um, enhanced or we, we increased the magnification. So it's now 0.73. Uh, we increased uh, the field of view by 30% and we also increased the eye relief by 50%. So that makes it much more usable for eyeglass wearers. And um, obviously all the M lenses are good to go. And uh, is there an R adapter as well? There is an R adapter. Uh, you can use also uh, any, almost any M lens being produced since 1954. Wow. You could even stretch it a bit further and use screw mount lenses from the pre-war area, uh, pre-war era. Uh, so, if you uh, happen to have one, yeah, if you yeah. have one, and it's great fun, by the way, to shoot with that very old lenses, yeah. uh, even on that modern camera. So, I think that's totally unique uh, in the industry, and it gives uh, the customers uh, a wide choice of um, of expression possible. And then the uh, the display, the the the, uh, the screen on the back. Is there anything different there as far as? Um um, the, the screen in the back has a slightly higher resolution, mm -hmm. um, but uh, the overall uh, image uh, play uh, quality uh, was also enhanced uh, compared to the previous models. Very good. Well, this is again Stefan Daniel uh, here talking us through the beautiful M10. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to shooting with it, and I, I'm sure many of you are as well. So uh, thank you again for, for joining us. You're very welcome.